This is your typical garden shed, home for all your lawn mower, your weed whacker, all those kind of things. But it's also a home for rabid animals. They can be up in the eaves or the rafters. And in this case, there was a rabid raccoon living underneath the floorboards, which makes it so scary is its house is right next to yours. And you can walk by, spook it, and it can attack. Four raccoons and a skunk confirmed positive for rabies in Windsor, and they have been attacking people and pets. He got hit where? Uh, right in the face, and he, Dr. Dr. Pennington said he believes it was from a bite. We don't know from what. Meet Captain Hook, the Schwartz family cat, who last week came home bleeding from the side of her face. The Schwartz family dog also had a run-in with a rabid raccoon, but the police got there in time. I arrived at the same time as the officer did, and... Um, he told me to get the dog, bring her in. He shot the raccoon and um, tested it, and it was positive. He saw that hole in the shed, that tiny little hole. I guess it's an ideal spot for a raccoon, apparently, and uh, so he wants me to cover it up with bricks, a board, anything. Last month, she found another raccoon, this one dead in her backyard. It also tested positive. Two in two months is too close for comfort. I have four kids, and that's what's scary is... Uh, <laughs> Because the kids aren't vaccinated, you don't know what's going to happen with them. Um, but we were lucky in that, you know, um, they haven't gotten attacked. Others in town have also been attacked. A woman was bitten in her backyard along with her horse. And that's why Dr. Pennington at the Windsor Animal Clinic says you should always vaccinate your pets because they can bring rabies into your home if they aren't. Not to mention the pet, but also your family could be put in danger as well. Um, I mean, we're, we're having some reported cases of rabies in town in Windsor right now, and there's, there's, a, there's this scare going on. And now, not only they have problems here in Windsor, but also Windsor locks. They've had a high number of cases reported anywhere throughout the state. If you see wildlife during the day when it's not supposed to be out, take caution. Don't go near it. Call police. I'm Bob Wilson on the scene of Windsor, News 8.